I'm Danny Epperson at the picturesque Commodore Theater in downtown Portsmouth. Thanks for joining me for WHRO Cinema 15. We're taking a trip back in time with the 1957 Civil War melodrama, Raintree County. When it was released in 1957, Raintree County was touted as a great Civil War romance and a mighty motion picture spectacle. It certainly had the star power to back up those claims. The movie stars Montgomery Clift, Elizabeth Taylor, Eva Marie Saint, and Lee Marvin. Based on the 1948 novel by Ross Lockridge Jr., Raintree County tells the story of John Shaughnessy, a recent graduate with a bright future whose life changes forever when a bewitching Southern belle visits his Indiana hometown. You're John Shaughnessy. Montgomery Cliff plays Shaughnessy, a man caught between two women and two armies. Throughout the film, he searches for peace, meaning, and the elusive rain tree. This film gave Taylor the first of her five Academy Award nominations for her role as Susanna Drake, the rich New Orleans woman with a troubled past and an even more troubled future. Rain Tree County was a Civil War epic with the aspirations to be the next Gone with the Wind. It's definitely epic in length, and thanks to some impressive battle scenes, grand sets, and plenty of elaborate 19th century costumes, the film was, at the time, the most expensive ever made. It was also epically captured. Rain Tree County was the first film shot in a special 65 millimeter widescreen process. Going bigger was a big deal for Hollywood in the 50s because movie studios felt that they needed a hook in order to compete with a new entertainment upstart called television. Thankfully, TVs have come a long way since the 1950s and many of us can now enjoy the film on a not so small screen. Pour yourself a glass of sweet tea and hit the lights. Get ready for Rain Tree County. What an epic film. Bringing Rain Tree County to the big screen wasn't easy. MGM acquired the rights to the best-selling novel in 1948, but it took almost a decade to adapt the story from the printed page to a shooting script. Once in production, the film had its own behind-the-scenes drama. Elizabeth Taylor was often late to the set because she was maintaining a budding romance with producer Mike Todd, who would become husband number three. She was also obsessed with maintaining her famously tiny waistline. She requested that the film's wardrobe department cinch her period gowns as tightly as possible, which may have led to her onset collapse from hyperventilation. Unfortunately, Montgomery Cliff suffered a setback much more serious than a wardrobe malfunction. One night after leaving a dinner party at Elizabeth Taylor's house, the actor slammed his car into a telephone pole. He spent weeks in surgery and recovery, but eventually returned to finish the film. The left side of his face was partially paralyzed, and the damage to his face is evident in some scenes filmed after the crash. Montgomery Cliff's life was never the same, but he continued to work, starring in films such as The Young Lions, The Misfits, and Judgment at Nuremberg. He even reunited with his close friend Liz Taylor in 1959, suddenly last summer. You'll tell the true story? Everything exactly. And before I go, here's one more bit of trivia about this film. The set of Raintree County's mythical town was created on MGM backlot number three in Culver City, California. In 1971, that lot was demolished to make way for an apartment and condo complex, which was named Raintree Estates in honor of the film. Developers even planted Chinese golden rain trees around the property, saving residents from having to go searching through the swamps. I'm Danny Epperson, and I'll see you next week for WHO Cinema 15 and another classic movie.